So we come in today to a huge move for the stock in Virgin Galactic. Space to the moon, in fact, after this announcement comes out this morning. Uh, yeah, they finally, guys, get their FAA approval to fly customers to space. So full commercial license here uh, to fly customers to space. Are you guys going to get in line? So, I mean, look, it's going to cost you like a quarter million dollars eventually when they, when they get all the approvals. Uh, I'd love to do it uh, at some point. But look, now that's, a, that's a hefty price tag for anybody, even if you got it, safety concerns, and then you prioritize that over other things. I think there's going to be a market for it. I, I, I believe in that notion, but let's keep in mind. There's still a lot of hurdles to get through here. Uh, they still have test flights uh, upcoming. Uh, they still have some logistical issues when it comes to the turnaround, how fast they can, uh, how fast they can get one flight up and down and then uh, do all the repairs needed, necessary, and the maintenance on, on their ships. So there's a lot of things they have to get through. And this stock, look, let's be honest about it. This was, a, this was like a darling and, and a fantastic trade, a, a trade uh, throughout uh, 2020 in the ramp up. It did make highs just above that 60 level. We're marching in towards them today, but it had gotten so beaten up. Uh, and you're getting a bit of a breakout here. And then let's not forget the other aspect of this. There's uh, uh, at least a 14% short interest. Some sites you'll see even more than that. So there is that squeeze aspect. I know AMC slowed down a bit, and some of those other uh, squeeze and meme names that have slowed. And then uh, maybe Virgin Galactic picking up the slack. So maybe the catalyst for a little bit of a squeeze here, Sean. Yeah, I mean, for sure. That 14%, we've heard 20%. We've heard a bunch of different numbers there. I just want to draw everyone's attention just a few things here technically. Like, we were just down to $15, $16. Once we broke the 50 period the first time, this is the moving average, we cracked. So that was 37 We went down, you know, 20 bucks, down to $16, $17. Then we broke this again, and now we're up basically, you know, that $20, $25 again, uh, up to highs. And then now you're testing out at this $60 look. This is going to be a stock. There's, you know, there's no revenues now, but, but you know, they have that future aspect to it. So I really do think that, hey, worth a buy at these levels, I'm going to say no. But, but if you do get a pullback here, I think, you know, forget about all these dips and everything like that. I think a pullback down to 36 makes sense. Just watch out, though. You know, Wall Street Bets is still all over a lot of these names. You do get pumps, 131 million shares today, a lot of volume happening. It looks like we're going to be a record volume day here uh, for Virgin Galactic today. So, again, congratulations to anybody long. But I think this is a profit-taking time as we approach near 60. Well, we can't deny that uh, this sector, this group, has had a little bit of a difficult start uh, to getting this uh, industry, if you want to call it that, off the ground. Is this just the beginning now as the first one to finally secure that? Look, there's, there's all kinds of competition. And, and obviously, um, I think it is a bit of a first step, but I don't think we can get ahead of ourselves here in terms of timelines because, you know, there, like I said, there's still a lot that has to happen. Uh, and this could be a, at least a few years away from the types of revenues that I think are being priced in at these levels. This feels like a momentum play to me. It's a fantastic one. There were great trades to be had. Uh, maybe not any, none any better on the day trading aspect of it and some good swing trades off of these clusters and the 50 period break that Sean mentioned. But the momentum is the way to play this here. Uh, I think you're buying at these levels. Uh, I might have to hold on a little longer than the time frame you'd want to give them what the rest of the market's uh, going to afford you. Look, if you're sitting in there uh, down at 20 or 30 and you want to hang on, fair enough. That's a bit of a different story, especially if you got it down in those teens. But, yeah, I'm with you, Sean. Uh, buying at these tops, uh, a little bit too rich, unless you're, you're strictly trading it here on the momentum and are going to get out in a short time frame. It's, uh, it's funny that you said a little too rich because it brings me to my very next point. Look, you have Blue Origin is going to be Jeff Bezos. We have Richard Branson. We have Elon Musk all trying to do the same thing. So, um, you know, is there room for more? Sure. I mean, there's tons of commercial airplanes. I mean, why not have commercial flights to the moon? Maybe Mars is next, Brendan? <laughs> I have no idea where we're going with this, but it's exciting and it's a great time to be alive. Yeah, it's, a, it's an exciting topic for sure, an exciting industry that could be just starting, guys. So more to come, definitely. Uh, in commercial space travel, Virgin, the first one to secure the license. Here's Valeria. Hey guys, thank you for this relevant content. Dear viewers, please subscribe to this channel to see more great videos.